There was Eru, the One, who in Ardor is called Iluvatar. And he made first the Ainur, the Holy Ones, that were the offspring of his thought. And they were with him before aught else was made. And he spoke to them, propounding to them themes of music. And they sang before him, and he was glad. But as the theme progressed, it came into the heart of Melkor to interweave matters of his own imagining that were not in accord with the theme of Ilovatar. And it came to pass that Ilovatar called together all the Ainur and declared to them a mighty theme, unfolding to them things greater and more wonderful than he had yet revealed. Then the voices of the Ainur, like unto harps and lutes and pipes and trumpets and viols and organs, began to fashion the theme of Ilovatar, and the music and the echo of the music went out into the void, and it was not void. And he showed to them a vision, and they saw a new world made visible before them, and it was globed amid the void, and it was sustained therein, but was not of it. And when the Ainur had gazed for a while, and was silent, Ilobata said to them, Behold your music, and those of you that will, may go down into it. Then many of the most mighty among them bent all their thought and their desire towards that place, and descended into it, and of these, Melkor was the chief, even as he was in the beginning the greatest of the Ainu who took part in the music. But this condition Ilovatar made, that their power should thenceforward be contained and bounded in the world, to be within it forever, until it is complete, so that they are its life and it is theirs. And therefore they are named the Valar, the powers. Manwek was the brother of Melkor in the mind of Ilvat, and he called unto himself many spirits, both greater and less, and they came down into the fields of Arda and aided Manwek, lest Melkor should hinder the fulfillment of their labor forever. And for that time, Melkor withdrew and departed to other regions, but he did not put the desire of the kingdom of Arda from his heart. And yet their labor was not all in vain. One lamp they raised near to the north of Middle-earth, and it was named Iluin. And the other was raised in the south, and it was named Ormal. And the light of the lamps of the Valar flowed out over the earth, 
so that all was lit, as it were, in a changeless day. So began their great labors in wastes unmeasured, until in the deeps of time they came to be that hour and that place, the habitation of the children of Ilovata.